give him a round of applause. All right, uh, this is Kanye. Uh, this is uh, Bomani Tamba, uh, African for Africans. Uh, we started our business operation in uh, 2006, uh, October, and uh, literally met David in uh, December of 2006, and we actually planned a business conference uh, before we even physically met. And we set off something just incredible there in Paswa uh, from uh, that December 2006 to 18 straight years. Uh, we did over about 20 different business conferences. And our goal is always to educate our brothers and sisters in African diaspora and uh, connect with our brothers and sisters here on how we can actually make an incredible repatriation movement work so we, we can start working on what we need to work on as a people so we can compete with the rest of the world and also just build a future and build generation opportunities for our children. And those things start right now by us uh, making a commitment and doing these things. So yes, it's, uh, I still can't even believe this is the 20th year we've traveled to Africa. Uh, and you just, you, you, you see things that need to be done and uh, someone has to do it. Uh, so this is just our contribution to an incredible repatriation movement that we learned about from here in Reggae Songs by some of our great artists like uh, Siza and Bojibant and many other wonderful um, you know, reggae artists. Uh, so that movement uh, that Marcus Garvey kind of took to another level, uh, we embraced it and uh, just want to carry it on to a, you know, and modernize it to this uh, 21st century. So that's why you see us with these uh, t-shirts. Uh, we have a lot of different kind of colors and flow, but they're a combination of being like red, black, and green, or red, black, green, and gold. And they all say inspired by Marcus Garvey. Uh, so, and then in the back, uh, talk about uh, reconnecting to your roots and getting your blessings. Uh, so our blessings is considered uh, us coming to our mother continent and feeling a sense of freedom, but also seeing a sense of that in order for us to have uh, the ultimate freedom, we have to be a part of building the infrastructure, building the uh, level of comfort because, you know, those of us who have lived a certain life in the market, it's what it is, uh, you, you're used to your, 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 comfort, your comfort or your, basically your, your, way, your way of life that, uh, you know, you have embraced and it's not easy to go back and change it. So, uh, one of the things that we started talking about is how can we invest in the African continent? So, one of the things that we have built onto is our Black Star Pan African community, and it's a community ideology of uh, those of us from the African diaspora who want to actually live, do business in Africa, and actually work together to build community foundation where now you put your money together and you compete, and then now you can actually just you know create better opportunities for uh, uh, you know our own children. You know, a lot of times we're around on our cross city tour and. You meet a lot of wonderful young uh, men and women, and the issue is that uh, you know you really want to help everybody, but it's just not realistic. And, you, you know, and there's only so many CDs you can give out to people because I told you know it's it's what it is. So um, our goal is to just keep on building that connection and um, open things up to where more and more people can say, you know, let's uh, you know we want to join the fight and build on to it. It's kind of like I'm always uh, telling people, uh, look at all of these uh, visionaries that um, you know in the corporate world. You know, uh, once uh, their people find out that they're doing some great things, uh, their folks uh, support them. Uh, and uh, just uh, to say in general, uh, you, you, you see the, the, the funding that they get to build their projects uh, and things like that. And you know, we're not begging anyone for anything, but it's like, you know, we're also just doing the work to basically get that reciprocation, but a lot of times it doesn't come that easy. So we just, we're gonna keep on doing corporate economics until we just uh, figure it out and we're gonna keep on building that energy. So family, this uh, business conference, uh, this opening energy to just uh, getting all the right information and then ultimately, uh, Mao was telling everyone, don't make any quick decisions and you really have to plan this thing out and you really have to just be clear about what you're getting into uh, because it's, it's a situation where uh, it's completely different from how you live and do business in America and uh, you just have to understand the culture of how business is done and that's the importance of a business and investment conference. Uh, it's for educational purpose and with that educational purpose uh, you can then be able to plan, plot and organize correctly and just uh, build on a better momentum and then the mistakes and the situations that have happened to some of this in the past, now you can actually just uh, not get back in those situations and you can be more progressive. So we're always talking about uh, the struggles that we have been through so other people don't have to go through it. So you're going to hear a lot of those uh, information and uh, just 
keep on telling everyone to just keep on sharing, keep on networking. It's a lot of us in this room, and you know, a lot of times things stop small, from a small group of people. So I uh, keep on networking, and once the business conference is over, uh, hopefully uh, everybody is going to step off and go places. I'll try to connect with each other, share cards, and um, let's see what we can build from here for uh, future generations. Okay, thank you very much. Keep on. Uh, you know, we always do these conferences, we like to go each other to know 